Hi friends, welcome to Krishna's Tech Info. In this video, we can see how to configure vMotion to migrate virtual machine from one ESXi host to the another. There are three types of vMotion in which you can migrate the compute resource from one ESXi host to the another. And second is the storage vMotion, and third is the migrating the whole compute resource and the storage to a different vCenter server or a data center. In this video we can see how to migrate the compute resource from one ESXi host to the other. In this video we can see the live migration of virtual machine from one ESXi host to the other. For this you need to create the virtual machine in a shared storage. For the shared storage I am going to mount the NFS storage to the both the ESXi host. First, I am going to mount it to the that is the ESXi host 1.15. Here's the ESXi host 1.15. Go to the storage. Now select the storage and click New Data Store. And you need to mount the NFS Data Store. I already set up the NFS share in a CentOS mission. I am going to mount it in the both the ESXi host. I am going to give the name as the NFS. And the NFS server IP that is 1.7 and the NFS share is slash NFS now click next and click finish now you can see the NFS data store is added and in the 1.5 I am going to do the same thing I am going to mount the NFS share slash NFS and click finish now you can see the NFS is mounted in the second ESXi host. Now we can create a virtual machine in the shared storage. Now I am going to create a virtual machine in 1.15 ESXi host. Now right click and create the new VM. I am going to create the Ubuntu virtual machine. Now click next and select the NFS data store which is the shared storage. Now click next. Now in the CD or DVD drive, you need to select the ISO image. I already uploaded the Ubuntu ISO image. And select the connected power on and click next. And click finish. Now start the virtual machine. Now the virtual machine started. Now the virtual machine is running in 1.15. Now we can see how to configure the vMotion to migrate the a VM from one ESXi host to another. Go to the network settings and select the VM kernel NIX. Now click the edit option and select the vMotion option and click save. Now we have enabled the vMotion in the 1.15 ESXi host. Now do the same thing in the 1.5 ESXi host. Go to the networking and select the VM kernel NIX and edit the settings and enable the vMotion now I have enabled the vMotion in both the ESXi host now go to the vCenter server and now here you can see the Ubuntu machine that has been launched now now you can see it is running in 1.15 now I am going to migrate the Ubuntu virtual machine from 1.15 to 1.5 now right click the virtual machine and click migrate and you can it you can see the three options that is change compute resource only it will migrate the live virtual machine from one ESXi host to the other the second is the storage which is the storage vMotion which will migrate the virtual machine storage to the another data store and third is the compute resource and storage which will migrate both the storage and the compute resource to a different data store or cluster or vCenter server. Now I am going to select the first option click next and now we can see the hosts that are available for the migration. I am going to select the 1.5. Now I am going to migrate the virtual machine to 1.5. Now click next. Now select the VM network. You can schedule the vMotion with high priority which is recommended and click finish now refresh 
now you can see the process that is taking place that is relocating the virtual machine now it is completed 60 percent now just refresh the vcenter server and now you can see the ubuntu machine is running in the 1.5 asxi host you can also check the you can see the ubuntu virtual machine that is in 1.15 is no more available and is migrated to the 1.5 asxi host there is no downtime during this live migration in this way you can migrate the running virtual machine from one asxi host to the another using the vmotion option in this video we saw how to configure the vmotion in the vcenter server using the shared storage in the coming videos we can see the other types of vmotion and the other vcenter concepts please post your suggestions in the comment box and subscribe to my channel for more technology videos and please press the bell button to get instant notifications on my videos thank you for watching